What is up Trilogy fam? Welcome to another episode of Trilogy On Demand. I'm Ricky and I've got a great boot camp for you today. It's gonna to be a good way to recover, uh, but still get a good workout in. Uh, we're gonna utilize a bunch of static stretches from some of your favorite exercises um, to, to give you the most challenging workout without putting too much pressure on your joints. Uh, you're not gonna need any equipment for this today, so just grab your mat or your floor, whatever you're using. Uh, I am gonna use my chair here for some balance. Um, if you need that, or if you wanna use the wall, that's totally cool as well. Uh, but let's get to it. Let's start warming up and get out. All right, we'll start things off with a nice easy warm up, get the blood flowing. So we'll start with some big shoulder rolls. We'll go all the way up, roll the shoulders back. Get your breath going, wake up that breath. Get all that old air out of the lungs. Get some nice fresh oxygen into the bloodstream. We're working to some scissor arms, so just crisscross right in front. Good guys. Go ahead and start with some side bends. So we'll reach all the way up and over the top, side to side, just loosening up our side body. A couple times each direction. And then we'll get into some high knees here. So some like marching knees, just get those knees up at least hip height. If you wanna go a little higher, that's great. Uh, we're trying to make sure those hip flexors get going, get those hamstrings a little bit loose, nice and easy, looking good. It's never a bad thing to, to spend a little extra time on the warm up, especially um, you know if you have been sore, if you are feeling like a little bit, um, you know maybe you need to recover a little bit from from a previous workout. Um, good warm up, good cool down is the way to go. Get some leg swings in here, both legs. Switch sides. I'm gonna be using this chair throughout the workout today. Um, it's a good tool to have just if you do need something to help stabilize yourself. Um, we're gonna use them for calf raises, but um, when we do our squats today as well, if you want to hold on to something stable, um, try not to hold on to something that's gonna fall over, uh, but something like a wall, uh, a railing, um, chair is okay as long as you're not putting your entire weight on it as well. Um, all right, so today's workout, we are going to do a static style workout where we put in a pause for each exercise that we're doing. So instead of moving, the challenge is gonna be not moving as much as possible. We're gonna go for, most of these exercises are gonna have five second holds. Uh, we're gonna only do for five reps. So 25 seconds of tension each exercise. We're breaking them into groups of three. We got three groups of three, we're gonna each hit each of those twice. Uh, so today we're gonna start off with our squats. Go ahead and start with a nice wide stance. Shoulder width or a little wider. Uh, I do like to turn my toes out a little bit, but that's up to you. We're gonna drop down our first squat just to the distance that you can hold for at least five seconds. Um, and then and come back up under control. If you wanna start shallow and then work your way down as you, as you go and make sure that um, the depth that you're hitting is an appropriate depth. So you can start off a little shallow and then on the second rep, the third rep, try going a little bit, a little bit deeper each time. Uh, so let's get it started right here. We're going in three, two, one. Let's drop down to our squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up, good. Right back down. If you wanna go a little lower if that felt easy. Four, three, two, one. That's two. Back down, five, four, three, two, one. Three down, two to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Now, if you notice, I kind of rock a little bit. I, I have a hard time staying extremely still. Um, but if, if you're totally still, that's great. If you are getting a little bit of a bop in, that's okay too, as long as it's not dramatic and, and making your joints move too much. All right, we are going to go into static push-ups. So we're gonna start off in a straight arm plank. Um, you can do this from the toes, you can do this from the knees. But again, we're only going down as far as you feel comfortable that you can hold for five seconds. If, that, if the first one is just a little bit of a bend, that's okay, and even from the knees. We're gonna go down five seconds. Here we go, three, two, 
one, drop it down, five, four, three, two, one, back up, nice job, big breath, back down, maybe a little lower this time, five, four, three, two, one, back up, if that felt easy, let's go a little lower, ready, five, four, three, two, one, good, if you're getting pretty low from your knees and you feel good, try going up to your toes, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, good, back up one more time, Big breath, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, back up, nice job. We're gonna flip over onto your back. Um, so this time, we're gonna start with your arms out over your head, your feet are nice and straight, but the big focus we're gonna have is on your lower back. So I want your lower back to start flat, even if you have to start with your knees a little bit bent, and then we're never letting it arch up off of the mat. So. Arms overhead, shoulders are gonna come up, legs are gonna come up, and we're gonna hold for five. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Looking good, back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Legs up. Five, four, three, two, one, looking good. These are easy, let's do the last two back to back. Don't come back down. Ready, up, five, four, three, two, one. You can relax. If you're holding with me for the last two, let's keep going, just keep holding. Going, coming back up, everybody else, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, not too bad. We're gonna go back through that circuit one more time and then Move on to our next set of three exercises. So we're starting with our squats. Remember, five second holds, and try to hit at least as low as you went last time, unless your knees are starting to bother you. Um, really make sure that your back stays nice and straight when you go down, and that your weight is back on your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. All right, so here we go. Starting in round two, going down in three, two, one, and low, five, Four, three, two, one, back up, looking good. Back down, five, four, three, two, one, back up. Number three, five, four, three, two, one. We got two more, if you wanna do the same thing and hold it all the way through, go for it. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Everyone back up, unless you're holding all the way through. Big deep breath, coming back down. Last hold, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. All right, right back down to the mat. We're going to our push-ups. Number five second holds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, looking good. Back down, five, Four, three, two, one, back up. Make sure those shoulders don't creep up by your ears. Keep them nice and, and down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, back up. Two more. Down, five, four, three, two, one, back up. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. One, nice job. You might notice I didn't combine the last two on that one. These push-ups are way too hard for that. But if you want to do that at any point in these, go for it. I think the longer you hold something, uh, the more time under tension, the more challenging, um, the better it is. So if that is comfortable for you, or if the five second um, pauses are too easy, definitely combine some of these. Because if you did all five together without stopping, you would guarantee it'd be tough. <laughs> All right, we're doing our hollow body holds. Here we go, three, two, one. Start with that back flat, go. Four, three, two, one, and back down. Back up, five, four, three, two, one. Back down, that's two. And up, five, four, 
three, two, one, number three, up, five, four, three, two, one, number four, last one of these for the day, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and done, all right, grab a little water if you need it, um, catch your breath here, we're moving on to a whole new circuit, three new exercises for you today, so um, catch your breath, like I said, and the great thing about this, anytime you need a little breather, just hit pause. We'll be right here back when you're ready to hit play again. So take as many breaks as you need. Uh, we're gonna try to keep the breaks minimum here. Just if you are crushing it and this is, you wanna keep it rolling, we're here for you to keep it rolling. If you need a little break, go ahead and take that break. Um, all right, so the next one we're gonna set up is stationary lunge. Now, since we're doing both legs, we're gonna do three on each leg instead of five squats. Um, three lunges left, three lunges right. Um, but we're gonna get into that lunge position and then our feet are gonna stay planted. So again, we're gonna drop it down and hold it, but when you come back up, your feet aren't moving. Um, if you want to grab onto something, um, a couch, a, a, a railing, a wall, this is a great place to do that as well. Um, and make sure that your feet, left foot is in the left lane, right foot is in the right lane, and when you go down, there's, keep that distance in between them. If you start walking the tightrope, then the balance is gonna get a little, little tricky. So, um, let's go ahead, nice long stance here. to so make sure there's a bunch of distance because if your feet are too close together, you're gonna go down, knee goes out over the foot. You don't want that. Nice long stance, and we're gonna, again, just drop down to the, to the depth that you feel comfortable with. Always, always say start slow, and we can progress as you go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, dropping it down. Don't touch that knee, but float it over the ground. Three, two, one, back up. Looking good. Should feel a nice, good stretch here. Five, four, three, two, one, back up. Looking good. And last one on this leg. Five, four, three, two, one. One, looking good. Let's go ahead and step that right foot forward or whichever leg was in the back. I never like to give the directions of left foot first, right foot first. We're gonna do both sides, so it doesn't matter what side you start with. Go ahead, get that stance set up. Feet are in different lanes, that's good. Here we go, dropping it down. Five, four, three, two, one, back up. Back down, here we go, five, four, Three, two, one, back up. Try not to put your hands or rest your weight on that front leg. Try to float your arms and use your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. All right, that wasn't too bad. We're gonna set up a glute bridge now. So, we're gonna start on your back. Flat on your back, knees bent, feet on the ground. All of the drive here is gonna go down through your legs through the bottom of your heels, okay? So we're gonna bridge those hips up nice and high. We're gonna keep the shoulders down, keep your head nice and straight. Here we go. We're gonna hold this one for 60 seconds, okay? So a little longer hold, um, but it'll take a little longer for, for these muscles to fatigue. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Hips up nice and high. And you can see that I wiggle my toes. My hips are, they can't go any higher. And even once you get up to the height that, okay, this is as high as my hips will go, try to still push even another inch or two. Um, you might not move anywhere, but your, your glutes are gonna squeeze just that little extra bit. Those muscles are gonna contract just a little tiny bit more um, to, to try to drive those hips up. And the more muscular action that we get, the better we're feeling. So keep those hips up nice and high. Make sure you're breathing. You know, it's always hard for me to talk and breathe properly at the same time. But we are cooking here. We got 15 seconds left. Keep those hips up nice and high. They should be burning. Looking good. Less than 10. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Looking good, guys. 
All right, so we are gonna flip over and do supermans. So this is gonna be all for your back, both your lower back and your upper back, because we're gonna put the arms out over the head. So back to the five sets of five. Here we go. Flat on your stomach. We're gonna lift knees and arms up in the air. Try to get your chest up off the ground. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Big breath. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one, back down. And up, five, four, three, two, one, back down, big breath, back up, five, four, three, two, one, back down, one more time, here we go, big breath in, exhale up, five, four, three, two, one, nice job. You might notice it's tough to breathe when you're laying flat down on your stomach. That's why I always try to get those breaths in in between uh, the reps. So get that breath in and then exhale up. So as all that pressure is coming onto your thoracic cavity, you can manage it perfectly with a nice long exhale. So here we go. We're going one more time through that circuit. We've got our lunges, we've got our glute bridge, and we've got our supermans. Um, we'll start off again. Make sure that your feet are nice and long this way um, and separated about shoulder width this way. Um, we are going to try to go a little bit lower. If that felt not too bad last time, try to go a little bit lower into that, into that drop. Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Press them up. Looking good. Down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Press it up. And one more time. I almost fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking good. All right, let's bring that right foot forward. Left foot goes back. And drop it down. Five, four, three, two, one. And up. Drop it down. Five, four, three, two, one, up, one more time, five, four, three, two, one, and good job, guys, all right, let's head back to the mat, flat on your back, we are cruising, we're almost all the way through round two, all right, remember, feet in, knees bent, drive through those heels, here we go, in three, two, one, Hips up, nice and high. And try not to support your lower back with your arms. Obviously, that's going to take some of the, the pressure off your lower back. But if this is causing you some pain, if you have a, a tight back, you can do some modifications or just come down every couple of breaths and come back up. This shouldn't feel too stressful, even if you do have a compromised lower back. Um, but we want to make sure that we're, what we're doing is, is positive for us and not a negative. The old one step forward, two steps back, we, we don't want that. If you're getting injured, if it's aggravating an existing injury, definitely don't want to try to push forward. Um, we want to do things that are going to help us feel better, not make us feel worse for a couple of weeks. So 15 seconds, keep those hips up nice and high. Keep that breath flowing. I always forget to breathe when I'm talking rambling. But we got five. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Let's go ahead and flip right over, right into our Supermans. Keep those legs nice and long, arms out overhead. And again, remember when we go up, it's going to be hard to breathe in. So we're going to breathe in first, and then exhale up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Let's go up. Five, four, three, two. One, and down, up, five, four, three, two, one, and down, two more. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, last one, and up, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys, all right. 
Another quick water break, catch your breath. Um, our next three movements, we are going to do um, some calves, some shoulders, and some core. It's gonna be a bird dog, so it's gonna kind of incorporate both our uh, anterior and, and posterior core, as well as some of our obliques. So um, this one, again, for the calf raises, it's hard to do it with just balancing without anything to rely on. I am going to use the chair for my balance here. Uh, if you have something to hold on to, a wall, um, a spouse, a kid, whatever you've got, um, something, something sturdy, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Don't, and careful calling your spouse a sturdy, that, that's, that's troublesome. <laughs> um, but we're gonna start going here. Again, we're doing five second holds uh, for five reps uh, for both the calf raises and for the shoulder raises. Um, so we'll get to that. Um, let's go ahead and find your way. And again, you wanna kind of keep your feet about shoulder distance. I wouldn't go much wider than that, but if you want to bring them in a little closer, that, that's okay as long as your balance is, is in check here. So um, we're going to come all the way up onto the tippy tippy toes and try to only use the chair or the wall or your kid as a gentle um, help on the balance. You don't want to rely completely on it because then you're not really doing any any work with the, with the calves. So all right, enough talking, let's get to it. Here we go, calf raise is going up in three, two, one, and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down, come on back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, two more, going up, five, four, three, two, one, and one more time. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice job, guys. All right, we're going into some shoulder raises, and again, we're gonna throw, them, throw in that static stretch. So the way I'm gonna do it, and I'll show you my application, I'm gonna take kind of a halfway lift, so a nice flat back, you can see um, from a lateral angle. Nice flat back, arms are gonna be straight down, and then we're gonna come up, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold for five, and then come back down. If that is putting pressure on your low back, just, just the fact, just the, the stance of standing like this, um, you can do this from a perfectly um, straight up vertical position, and that's fine. It's just gonna have a little different part of the shoulder. Uh, you can do this seated, you can do this crisscross, um, applesauce, but, Find whatever works best for you. I do like, I always focus on posterior chain, so I do like putting that element into it. But if that, again, if that's compromising your, your lower back uh, muscles, definitely wanna make sure that we take care of that first. All right, so again, five, five second holds. Here we go, legs slightly bent, back nice and straight, arms straight down, and we're going all the way up. Five, four, three, two, one, back down, all the way up. Nice straight arms, four, three, two, one, and back down. And the higher you can go, the better. It's not just, we're not just trying to get to parallel. We're trying to get as much range of motion as you can. Three, two, one, back down, two more. Come on back up, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, one more time, five, Four, three, two, one. Nice job. I know it doesn't feel too challenging, but there's a lot of little muscles back in behind your shoulder blades. I promise you, you will be feeling that one. Um, our last one today, we are going to set up a bird dog. I'm gonna show you two angles of it before we jump in. Because you're gonna start here, but our hold is gonna be on the abduction. So if you're looking at me head on, what, what I'm gonna do is Swing my arm out to the right, my left, my leg out to the left to counter it, and we're gonna hold it right there. You're gonna feel that a lot in your hip, side hip, um, and a lot in the obliques, but we're also gonna need the benefit of our balance, our stability, um, both our core, front and back. So a lot of different things going on here. If you are more comfortable just holding the bird dog and the abduction part is a little too extreme, don't worry about it. 
Um, but it is good to try, um, especially you know if you haven't tried it before, you don't know until you try it. So here we go. Let's set up a uh, nice flat back, hands about shoulder distance, knees hip width. We're gonna start off um, left leg back, right arm forward. And once we find that balance point here, feeling good, we're gonna swing everything out wide. So here we go, three, two, one, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and back. Out wide, five, four, three, two, one. And we're doing three each side here. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Good, come back to tabletop, wiggle it out, shake up those shoulders. We're gonna set up the same thing on the other side. So right leg back, left arm forward. Once that balance feels pretty good, we're gonna swing it out wide. Five, four, three, two, one. You should feel your core has to engage a little bit extra once the balance points change. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking good. One more time, out wide. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, we're gonna hit those three movements one more time all the way through, and then cool down, you are done for the day. All right, catch your, catch your breath, get a drink of water if you need it. And when you're ready, we're gonna hit back one more round, and then we are donezo for the day. So go ahead and find whatever you're holding on to for balance. We're going up with our calf raises in three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down, going up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down, up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's three, going up, five, Four, three, two, one. One more time. Get that burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, let's drop it down to our shoulder raises. Remember, nice flat back. Knees can be a little bit bent here. Arms straight down. Ready, set, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down, all the way up. Five. Four, three, two, one. Back down, up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's three. Five, four, three, two, one. And one more time, last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, standing up nice and straight. All right, let's go ahead and knock this out. Last one for the day. Then we're cooling down. I'm gonna start off again. Left leg up, right leg, or right arm up. Here we go. Out nice and wide. Three, or five, four, three, two, one. And really focus on when you swing it out wide, try to keep it at the same height. Don't let that leg dip just because you're going out wide. I don't even do it perfectly myself. So just try it. Five, Four, three, two, one, good. And one more time, out nice and wide. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Come back to center, shake it out, and set up the other leg. Right leg out, left arm up, and once we feel balanced, swing it out wide. Four, five, four, three, two, one. One, and back, out wide, five, four, three, two, one, back to center. Last one, last one for the day, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's come back to our tabletop, point those toes back, and we're just gonna drop it right back into child's pose. Ooh, I need to hydrate. So find your child's pose, catch your breath here. We're gonna get a nice little cool down going. Um, so child's pose is a great just kind of decompression, lengthen your spine, sink your hips back. Whew. 
Get those arms and fingers stretched out nice and wide. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give you the vertical angle. We're gonna walk both hands out to the left. Get a big deep breath, big stretch. Both arms out to the right. Come back to center, get those fingertips spread out nice and wide. Sink back onto those, onto your heels here. Try to fold up as tight as you can fold. Big breath in, big exhale. Back to tabletop, we're gonna set up our cat cow. So we're gonna arch the back, exhale. And drop the stomach down, inhale, eyes up. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, to cow. Let's go ahead and come up onto one knee. So we're gonna go ahead and get a little kneeling lunge in. Drop those hips forward, but keep your shoulders, your chest nice and, keep them back. Um, spine nice and straight here. But we're trying to feel it down the front of our hip. So whatever knee is down on the ground, that hip is where we're really trying to get a good stretch, that hip flexor. Um, that tends to be just the, the biggest and, and uh, the tightest muscle sometimes is right where that hip flexor inserts. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So we wanna make sure we give it some extra love and attention today. Big deep breath. Send those hips forward. Let's go ahead and find our way to a seated position. You can go crisscross like me. You can put your feet together, whatever's comfortable. But we're gonna sit up nice and, nice and tall. Reach our hands all the way up as high as we can go. And then we're gonna fold forward, reach those fingertips out as far as they go that lower back, your hips, a little bit of the legs. A couple big breaths here. Big inhale, big exhale. Each exhale, try to just sink a little deeper into the stretch. Something about that release of the exhale just tells all your muscles to relax just a little bit extra. Slowly come back up to see the nice and straight. We're just gonna take your head side to side. And then back straight down to your chest. Give me a couple big shoulder rolls. We started with some shoulder rolls. We're gonna end with some shoulder rolls. Big breath in, big breath out. One more time, big inhale. Big exhale. All right, great job today, guys. Thanks for moving with me. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of Trilogy On Demand. Uh, we've got great yoga classes, boot camp, bar, anything you might need and more. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.